Hey everyone, Andy here, and today you join me with my top five editing tips. Let's get to it. Now these aren't in any sort of order. I've not done a first being the best or anything like that. I'm gonna go through five things that I like to add to my footage that I think makes them help out stand from the crowd. They're, some of them are really simple and they're actually pre-built in filters. Some things are a little bit more creative that I do. But let's go ahead and show you the five things that I do that I think helps my footage and hopefully it will help yours as well. Okay, so number one, I'm gonna go with this stabilization. All you've got to do on this one is go up to the top right to your inspector, scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the stabilization, get that ticked, and it does the work for you. And I've got a separate tutorial on this if you wanna go more in depth, and I'll put a link in the description for this. But look at how much better this is. Now the section on the top is moving left to right, and the bottom is nice and smooth and stable. Now number two is gonna be a letterbox effect. This is nice and simple. It's already a built-in effect. As you see, I'm scrolling down to effects, letterbox, drag it over and boom, it is done. All you've got to do now is go to the aspect ratio and change that to the 2.35.1 and it's done. And number three is vignettes. Now I think the vignette is something that is actually overlooked and you don't notice in a lot of videos, but it's just a pre-built in effect and why not use it? It makes it look really, really good. So come over here to installed effects. There it is, vignette, drag it over and then mess with it how you want. Now you might want to increase the brightness in the middle as much as you want, the fall off, you can have that close. I like having closer to the edges, maybe reduce the whole size. And then one little extra feature that you don't actually realize sometimes that's in here, but it can give a really cool effect when you've got the vignette, is this up here, the blur amount. So if I was to blur that fully, what you'll see is all around the edge, it's like a feather effect, it's blurred it, which gives a nice focus in the middle. I generally always just leave it where it's actually preset at two, two or three, something like that is perfect. Number four is gonna be a pan and zoom motion. Okay, so for the pan motion, if you have a clip like this one here that I did of the City of Manchester, there's not a lot going on, but the camera's just moving forward. So it's a little bit boring. So what you can do is, first of all, get your letterbox effect, drag that on, change the aspect ratio to 2.35.1. And what we're gonna do is go to the start of the clip. Now what we wanna do is offset that picture and maybe let's offset it right down towards the bottom just to show you the most drastic effect. Click this little plus icon to add a keyframe. Then move to the end of the clip and we want that to go all the way to minus one. So as you can see, the camera now looks as if it's panning upwards, making a nice dynamic effect. Now for the zoom motion, a similar technique applies to this one. So say if you've got a picture like this one, it's just a still picture and it's, you know, it might be really nice, but it's a bit boring, nothing's happening. So what you want to do is go to the start of the keyframes and you want to go to transform. And then what we can do is zoom in with the scale. Let's just do it quite drastically again. And then again, like the other one, add a keyframe, move to the end of your scene or your picture change this back to 100 and that's it. So now if we go back to the start of that clip and press play, as you can see, it gives a nice zoom motion. And number five, certainly not least, is B-rolling. Okay, so B-roll is the extra footage that you can capture to enrich the story that you're telling that gives you greater flexibility when editing. So instead of just featuring what it is that you're showing, maybe drone footage or this time lapse, you've actually added something extra, another dimension to your story. So as you can see here, I've talked to the camera, what's happening, you get to see me set up the drone, and then you get to see the actual scene that I've just been talking about. I really hope that this has actually helped you in improving your footage and standing out more from the crowd. I think some of these are really simple and it's easy to implement and learn and do for every video you do going forward. 
If you've liked this video and found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below, really appreciate it. And again, if you're new to my channel, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button, which will be popping up around here at this moment in time. And make sure to hit the little bell icon to keep up to date with future videos. Thanks everyone again for watching. See you again soon. Bye.